Oh, 
Buongiorno a tutti cari fratelli e sorelle, iniziamo facendo una mascara a nostra madre e poi lentamente ci alziamo la Kundalini e ci diamo i sette bande. Good morning dear brothers and sisters, we begin by doing namaskar to our mother, then we raise our Kundalini slowly and give ourselves seven bandhans. Comodamente seduti, portiamo entrambe le mani sul nostro cuore. Sitting comfortably, we put both our hands on our heart. E chiediamo, Madre, di venire nei nostri cuori. And ask Mother to come in our hearts. Poi chiudiamo gli occhi. Then we close our eyes. Facciamo qualche profondo respiro. Take a few deep breaths. E portiamo entrambe le mani verso Madre Terra. And put, put our hands on Mother Earth. E chiediamo a Madre Terra. And ask Mother Earth. Di assorbire tutte le nostre impurità. To absorb all the impurity in us. Mother Terra, per favore. Mother Earth, please. Assorbi tutte le nostre negatività, tutte le nostre impurità. Absorb all negativity in us, all impurities. E la tua stabilità, il tuo equilibrio, la tua fragranza. Give us your stability, balance, fragrance. La tua tolleranza. Your tolerance. E tutte le altre belle qualità. And all your other beautiful Grazie, qualities. Madre Thank you, Mother Earth. Rendiamo omaggio a Madre Terra dicendo insieme il mantra a Shri Adi Bumi Devi. Oh, Shri Adi Bhumi Devi Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha
Portiamo ora la nostra attenzione sul Muladhara Chakra. Now let's put our attention on our Muladhara Chakra. Il pensiero rivolto alla nostra innocenza. And in particular on our innocence. Chiediamo a Shri Ganesha. We ask Shri Ganesha. Per favore di rimuovere tutti gli ostacoli affinché possiamo avere il coraggio di manifestare la nostra innocenza al mondo intero. Please, Sri Ganesh, remove all obstacles that prevent us from manifesting our innocence worldwide. Shri Ganesha, per favore, stabilizza in noi la saggezza, la spontaneità del fanciullo e la pura innocenza. Please, Shri Ganesha, establish in us the wisdom, spontaneity and pure innocence of a child. Diciamo insieme il mantra a Shri Ganesha per tre volte. Let's say together three times mantra to Shri Ganesha. Om Tvameva Saksham Shri Ganesha Saksham Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tvameva Saksham Shri Ganesha Saksham Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Tvameva Saksham Shri Ganesha Saksham Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Mettiamo ora l'attenzione sul nostro canale centrale. Putting our attention on our central channel. E invitiamo la nostra madre Kundalini a salire fino al nostro Sasrara. We invite our mother Kundalini to rise to Sasrara. Con l'attenzione sul nostro Svadistan. With our attention on Svadistan. Affinché la nostra pura conoscenza si elevi e non sia condizionata. We ask her to remove all conditionings and bless us with pure knowledge. 
fino al nostro Navi, dove regna la pace e la soddisfazione. Then on our Nabi, the realm of peace and satisfaction. E poi sale fino al nostro cuore, dove regna la gioia e la sicurezza. E qui preghiamo. Madre, per favore, vieni nei nostri cuori. Metti i tuoi divini piedi di loto nei nostri cuori. E fa che possiamo percepire la tua presenza, la beata connessione e vicinanza e la percezione del nostro sé. Madre, per favore, permettici di amare e di espandere al mondo intero tutto il tuo amore. And on to our heart, the realm of joy and security. Here we pray, Mother, please come in our hearts. Put your divine lotus feet in our hearts. Let us feel your presence and the blessing of our close connection to you. May we perceive ourself. Mother, please, may we love and spread your love all over the world. Diciamo insieme il mantra Ashri Shiva Parvati. Om Tuameva Saksha Shri Shiva Parvati Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala De Namo Namaha Portiamo ora l'attenzione sul nostro Agnya. We put our attention on our Agnya Chakra. Madre, per favore, rendici capaci di allontanare tutto il nostro ego e superego. Mother, please, make us capable of avoiding all ego and superego. Madre, per favore, insegnaci la totale arresa arresa al Dharma e alla pura religione universale. Please, teach us how to surrender completely to Dharma and to pure universal religion. Madre, per favore, donaci la capacità di perdonare, perdonare tutto e tutti. 
perdonare anche noi stessi. Mother, please make us able to forgive everyone and everything, including ourselves. Diciamo insieme il mantra a Shri Maria Jesu. Om Tuameva Saksham Shri Maria Jesu Saksham Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha E ora dolcemente accompagniamo la nostra mano e la nostra attenzione sul nostro Sagrara. Now we gently raise our hand and our attention to Sagrara. E lasciamo che il silenzio raggiunga il nostro essere and allow silence to invade our whole being tutte le nostre cellule i chakra i canali all the cells in our body our chakras in nadis in questo silenzio Ringraziamo Shimataji. And in this silence let us thank Shimataji. Per averci elevato. Per aver elevato la nostra esistenza fino all'unione con l'assoluto. Grazie Madre. For raising us higher for giving us a higher existence and blessing us by making us one with the Absolute. Thank you, Mother. Ringraziamo nostra madre dicendo il mantra a Shri Nirmala. Let's thank our mother by saying the mantra to Shri Nirmala. Om Tvamiva Saksha Shri Nirmala Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Sempre con l'attenzione sul nostro Sagrara e con immensa gratitudine verso nostra madre, guardiamo questo video del 1991 di Mahashivaratri Puja e lasciamo che le parole di Shimateji entrino nei nostri cuori e ci accompagnino lungo questa giornata. Grazie di cuore a tutti. Jeshi Mataji. Keeping our attention on Sastrara with immense gratitude towards our Divine Mother, 
we will watch a video of Mahashivaratri Puja 1991 allowing mother's words to enter our hearts and accompany us all day long thank you all Jay Shri Mataji what is the solution which takes you to destruction is the unlimited love because Shiva is nothing but love, he is love love is that corrects, that nourishes, that wants your benevolence. That's what Shiva is. It wants your benevolence. It looks after your benevolence. So when you are looking after the benevolence of others with love, then the whole life changes, the whole pattern changes and you really enjoy it because you become one with so many concerns, with so many families, so many things, so many problems of others and the others. So you just feel you are one with so many. Now see, we have so many Sahaja Yogis here today. First time when I came to Italy, I must tell you, I came with Christy, you know, with, uh, what's the name of Kurikar's wife? Huh? Kathri. And she the, was the only one who knew Italian. And we had told some newspaper to reserve some sort of a hall and advertise for us. Nothing was done. So when we came, we couldn't find anyone. So I went round with her to put the posters. But still nobody came. And today we are so many. But we must know that we are bound to each other by love. And the love that is for our benevolence, for our ascent. And then you just start enjoying everyone. Then you don't think what race you are, what country you are, what this thing you are, nothing. The surgery finished. So you become a universal being. And this attitude has to be achieved. When I hear that some Indian girls are tortured and troubled, I think, how can they do it? Or somebody who is a black uh, skin, they are tortured. Or some Indians are treating somebody because they are of low caste. It's not possible because we are all part and parcel of one body. We are all brothers and sisters, born of the same mother. But this is only possible when you dissolve that limited uh, relationship of yours into this great unlimited ocean of love. Then only it is possible. And if it is not there, do not try to justify. Just watch yourself. See for yourself. Are you really in love with everyone? You see, I would say that all the time when I suppose go for shopping, I just think, oh, this one will be nice for this one. That will be nice for that one. For myself, if you say, it's impossible for me to buy anything for myself. It's an impossible situation. Unless it is absolutely immediate or some problem is there, if I, I'm just without it. I won't even buy a drink for myself, even if I'm thirsty. Because the whole thing is the joy of others. Oh, this will be nice for that person, this will be good for that person. All this is the most enjoyable thing. I mean, why all this is for there? After all, think about yourself. Why am I here? I'm here to enjoy everyone, everyone. 
they are all realized souls, such beautiful lotuses. I am not going to stoop down to the mud. Now I am a lotus. That is the way you open the heart. The lotus of your heart and the fragrance of such a person is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So you are no more divisive. You do not want to separate from each other. Anywhere is done, you are agreeable to that. You don't think that it should be done here or there or there. But anywhere, but should be. All of us together. So the small attachments that are with you have to be dissolved into this ocean of love which is Shiva. Fourth one is the most important for all of us is to know that there is Nadi which passes through left Vishuddhi into the heart, starts from the heart, goes up, passes through Agya, it has four petals and opens up. This is the one which gives you the state which is called as Turiya. We live in three states. In the living, uh, in the uh, awakened state, Jagruti, our attention goes to this, that and all that, we spoil our attention. But the second one is the one what we call is that we sleep. When we sleep also, all these things that have happened come to us from our past and things like that. But then we go to the deeper sleep called as Vishupti. It's a state where you have deep sleep and you dream of something that is reality also. You may dream about Me, like it's the ethereal part of the subconscious where some beautiful informations are passed out. Supposing I come, say, to Italy, Italians might know in their Sushupti that I've come here or maybe anybody might know, depends on. But the fourth state is called Asturia. There are two more states. You are in a Turiya state, is the fourth state. Turiya means fourth. Fourth state is where that you are in a thoughtless awareness state. When there is no thought, just think of it. When there is no thought, you have to be innocent. When there is no thought, you have to have vibrations. When there is no thought, you cannot be attached to anyone. So into that thoughtless state you have come now as a Turiya Adhisthiti. And in this state when you are, these four petals which are within you have to open out in your brain. They come from your heart to your brain. And that is when we absolutely understand what is God. Absolutely know what is God is. That is the time when one receives the real knowledge.
But unless and until these four petals open, one may fall back. And that's why some of the surgeries who are still meddling with things, which they should not do, go down. And they don't understand what is God is. But it's not the understanding, you know, you understand this one little point, that it comes from your heart into your brain, not from your brain to your heart. It comes as if the amrosa of your bhakti covers your brain, absolutely. Say for example, Shankaracharya wrote a beautiful treatise called as Viveka Chudavani, where he described what is God, this, that, and Viveka means the conscience and consciousness and all that he described, quite a lot. But there was one horrible fellow called Sarma who started arguing with him and he got fed up, Shankaracharya. He said, no use talking to them. So he just wrote Saundarya Lari. So the literary is nothing but all the mantras praising the mother. He said, I, I know mother, now let me praise her. The thing to eat, what's the use of teeth talking to these people? Stupid things, how will they understand? He realized that these people haven't got <coughs> that capacity, that uh, sensitivity to understand what I know. That's the real knowledge, is to know what is God. And if that is God, then how can you suspect anything, how can you try to analyze anything? It's God, it's God Almighty, which knows everything, which does everything, which enjoys everything. That is the one we should say is the jnana, is the knowledge, is the true knowledge, the pure knowledge is not the knowledge of chakras, not the knowledge of vibrations, not the knowledge of Kundalini, but the knowledge of God Almighty. And the knowledge of God Almighty is not mental. Again I tell you, it starts from your heart and goes to your brain, something that came, comes out of your experience of joy and covers your brain. So your brain cannot deny it anymore. Like the, sometimes when you have your mother, little mother, you know the love of your mother. So you cannot explain, it comes from your heart and you say, no, that's my mother, she won't do like that. I know my mother very well. The knowledge about your mother, the one who has given you birth, may not be, mother may not be very good or whatever it is, but knowledge about God, that He is love, that He is truth, that He knows everything, that just become part and parcel of your being, absolutely. And that's the time we say is the nirvana. So it's important, especially for the people of the West, now open your hearts, because it starts from the heart, not from your brain. Do not judge people on vibrations, judge yourself all the time. I had told that Shiva Puja means more explanation, more understanding, more this thing, because in other pujas, we do all these mantras, this, that. But in this puja is to know the knowledge is God. And to know that you know God itself is so great. Whatever it is, she may be Mahamaya, she may be anything, but I know. It cannot be described in one book, it cannot be described in hundred books, it cannot be described in words, but to know that's God. After all, that's God, God Almighty. 
and that gives you that beautiful surrender where you just feel absolutely secure in that ocean of love. I wish you all to achieve that state. May God bless you.